Hello everyone, my name is Tulsa. Do we all have a neighbor who's nice to look at from the window in the morning? Like when he runs or rides his bike every day? Well, I have such a neighbor. His name is Martin, and I've known him since he was about six months old. That's how old he was when he moved into the house next door. Ever since I learned to look up to boys, he was the first one that fell into my heart. But I couldn't talk to him for more than a minute. Over the years, I watched his relationships. He saw one of the girls off, how he went out with friends and came home sometimes drunk, tired, angry, or happy. Martin was indeed a handsome man. While his teenage life was raging, I sat and watched him through my bedroom window. And to keep me from getting bored, I ate. I ate anything. Bananas, apples, chips, candy, eggs, lettuce, steak, fries, burgers, and even spaghetti and soup. Basically, anything I could find in the fridge. And with each new cube on his abs, I got another crease. Why have I never talked to him? No, don't think it was because I was overweight. Those complexes didn't appear until later. And I'll tell you how and why. My whole family led a home life. To be clearer, we didn't go places. My parents worked at a remote job, and I was in online training. They did it on purpose because it was convenient for them. No need to go anywhere. Groceries, furniture, and any other purchases. Everything was free, and doctors were called to our home. Over time, they even started Zoom events, and I grew up clearly understanding that this was the norm. You know? I could easily be called a princess watching the world from her window, waiting to be rescued by noble prince from the fat folds. Just not a princess like Rapunzel or Sleeping Beauty. I was more like Fiona from Shrek. But no one told me about it, because to my parents, I was the most beautiful. Then one day, everything changed. The companies where my parents worked switched to an offline format. It was hard, but my mom and dad now had to go into the office, buy a car, and send me to school amongst other kids. On the first day, I found myself the center of attention, naively believing I was being looked at because of my cool t-shirt. It was also a funny coincidence that Martin was in my class. I didn't even know we were the same age. He waved at me and all the girls were surprised. How did we know each other? Almost immediately, an incredibly thin and beautiful girl named Bianca came up to me, unashamedly. She asked who I was and where I was from, and I told her briefly about my past. Then she asked me how I knew Martin. We're neighbors. Oh, I see. I was surprised. He's a local hottie around here and doesn't say hello to just anyone. He almost always walks alone. I didn't know. He seemed kind of outgoing, like me. You are? Look, I've got an idea. Since you like to socialize, come to my party. I'll give you an initiation into real school life. Not online, but with all its perks. I'll make you popular. Just bring Martin, okay? I was glad and flattered to have gained her trust right away. Google had told me about those parties, and I approached Martin for the first time and suggested we go together. Why? What would I do there? I just thought, what if we go together? It would be on the way home anyway. I had plans. Are you going to the movies with a girl? What makes you say that? You go to the movies on Thursdays, either with a girl or with Harry, your childhood friend. And you never finish your popcorn and throw it in the trash next to the house along with your drinking soda. You always take the big bottle and drink it all down. He stood there with a frightened face. I knew you were watching me, but that you were so... Oh, I'm sorry. I just... Come on. All right, I'll go. There was nothing good on at the movies anyway. So we drove up there together. I was freaking out because I'd never even been to an event like this before. The moment we walked in, Bianca took Martin somewhere, and I was surrounded by her friends. We had a great time. It was fun. I was photographed a lot. And the next day... All those photos were posted on the social network. My God, what I saw there just killed me. It completely changed my self-esteem, and I was disgusted to look at myself for the first time in my life. In all the photos, my skin was glistening with fat. 
my eyes when I smiled were almost impossible to see. Folds of fat were sticking out from under my shirt, and my legs seemed the size of the ocean. What is that? Was it me? I'd never had a picture of myself before, and if I took one, it was only of my face. I wondered if that's how people around me saw me. The class laughed. I looked for support in Martin, but Bianca was sitting next to him. She must have had something on him because they were talking and she was laughing while showing him my pictures. I got depressed, so I took a desperate step. Do you know what the first thing I did was? That's right, I ate. I ate everything I saw at home. I ate every half hour and it calmed me down. Within a week, I'd gained another five pounds, and then another five, and another. In the end, with my height of 160 centimeters, I already weighed more than 120 kilos and turned into a real, fat monster. I could destroy cities just by running amongst the houses, but I was so heavy that I couldn't even run. My reflection in the mirror was frightening and disgusting, so I stupidly just threw the mirror away. One day I arrived at one of the malls. I needed to get to the top floor where there was a food court, but trouble. The elevator broke down and I wanted to eat. Martin came up behind me with Bianca. She was holding his hand. Wow, they even managed to get together while I was drowning in my layers. It wasn't until later that I realized she'd asked me to come on purpose to have time to build a relationship with him, and she also took advantage of the situation and took those nasty pictures. I was angry, but what could I do? Yep, just eat. The elevator came. I climbed in, and with me, Martin and Bianca. And the elevator wouldn't go. The weight sensors went off. It said, overweight. Bianca was laughing herself to tears, saying that if she or her boyfriend got off, the elevator wouldn't go away. I wanted to cry, but Martin opened the door and said, let's walk. I looked at him, and Bianca went back to her. Yeah, how can she get up? She can't look at her. (laughs) Stop it. If Telsa looks like that, then she's comfortable. What? Are you sticking up for her? She's stronger than you think. Right, Telsa? Huh? Me? I didn't understand why he was mad at his girlfriend, and I just stared at the floor. Okay, baby, let's put it this way. You and I have talked about her more than once, and it pisses me off. If Tulsa loses 20 pounds, I'll stop making fun of her. But if she gains even one more pound, I won't stop and prove to you that your friend is not that strong. I'm sure she can do it. No, Martin, don't argue. I was amazed at his faith in me. And to begin with, Bianca suggested walking up the stairs. It was nine long floors. I walked up for 30 minutes without stopping, and I thought I was going to die. Bianca said mean things the whole way. I tripped on one of the stairs and almost fell, but Martin caught me. He said, I've got you. I won't let go. Don't be afraid. His words sounded like encouragement, and I made it to the finish line. It was then that I set myself a goal, to lose 60 Ks in two months. It seemed that it would be unreal. But you know what motivated me? Bianca posted a video of me and the stairs again and told her 30,000 subscribers about the argument with her boyfriend, and users started betting. I took this as motivation for me. I just couldn't lose to her in this battle. So I went on a strict diet. It was hard to give up everything flowery, sweet, fatty, fried, less salt, pepper, and vegetables, grains, and a minimum amount of fruit. Hunger haunted me. Sometimes I wanted to snap, but the first five kilos in three days motivated me. I rejoiced and realized I was doing well. The date of the argument was approaching, and Bianca had to admit defeat. During this time, I became closer and closer with Marty. He made me run in the mornings, drink more water, and walk to and from school. We spent a lot of time together and learned so much about each other. In short, we became friends. I didn't tell him how much I lost in three weeks, but there was progress, and I stopped weighing myself to see later. Meanwhile, I was just dreaming about food. I was always hungry, and I was a second away from a breakdown. 
the day before the weigh-in, I got up on the scale and saw that I'd lost as much as 20 pounds. Wow. And then I regretted doing it because I thought, what if I ate once? It wouldn't do anything. I won the bet. So what? I went into the cafe and ordered myself some fried chicken. Mmm, the smell of it beckoned me. I ripped off a leg and was about to take a bite when Martin sat down next to me. Don't do that. I can't take it anymore. I'm hungry. You can't do that. You're at the goal. I got it. I'm gonna win the bet. What's a bet got to do with it? You're the one who told me you wanted to wear swimsuits, go to the pool, and make your stomach finally stop hurting. None of your business. Give me the chicken. I snapped. I ate it all, and then I saw Martin's disappointed face. I didn't care. Let him go to his Bianca. I got up from my chair and immediately collapsed with stomach pains. You have an ulcer, they told me at the hospital. I had emergency surgery, after which I recovered for a long time. I was on a diet, and I hardly ate at all. In three months, I lost 70 kilograms. Imagine! Yes, the argument was annulled, and I achieved more than what I wanted to. But at what cost? It could have been different, without significant health risks. Anyway, every decision we make has consequences, and I want you to remember that too. What about Marty? He got me a bike to ride in the mornings. Bianca was bursting with envy from my new figure, not knowing the price of it, and I finally stopped just staring out the window. I started building my new life. Tell me guys, did you like my story? Write your opinion about it in the comments below the video. Don't forget to like it, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel.